All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Chris. Kazan's back with another delicious video. And if you've looked at the thumbnail, you know exactly what we're going to be talking about. We're going to talk about this delicious looking thing. It's very melony, and that's exactly what I'm going to be digging into. So, this, my friends, this is the Hokkaido melon condensed milk frap so what happens is that the melon is sourced from hokkaido itself and it has condensed milk instead of just your regular milk me personally i've only had condensed milk here in japan i don't think i've had condensed milk back in canada and i remember the first time i tried it i thought it was very interesting and it tasted a little bit better especially in the sweets it was in an eclair and so i'm really interested to see how condensed milk plays in favor of this thing and you know me i love my fruits melon is up there but uh we're gonna, we're gonna have another video of one that's my personal favorite make sure to tune into that video and see how delicious so that one is but without further ado this frap is perfect for summer using hokkaido red meat melon puree condensed milk and whipped cream and without further ado let's see how this bad boy tastes so obviously you can see it has your melon smoothie the puree and you do get some whipped cream at the top give it a nice little mix so we get a combination of both of them all right now let's see just how delicious this can be this is really good stuff oh All right, now before I get a brain freeze, oh, too late actually, one second. All right, so brain freeze aside, this thing is absolutely spot on delicious. It tastes unbelievably fresh and so just delicious. It tastes like I'm eating an actual melon just in my hand, just gobbling that thing up. And it tastes really good. It tastes so good. You can taste the condensed milk, sort of an underline in the back. You have a mouthful of that melon flavor. The melon flavor, definitely the star of the show. And the condensed milk is just sort of in the background, you know, a supporting character and it's doing a great job. You can definitely taste both the melon and the condensed milk. Now, when it comes to the whipped cream, I'm not sure if the whipped cream is really playing a part in this frap. I feel like the whipped cream is literally just there just to boost the price up a little bit because a lot of the times when they add whipped cream, it adds another like 30, 60, something amount of cents. But like, I feel like the whipped cream is kind of irrelevant. They only have this one size, which is this one for 490 yen, as you saw earlier. And I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that it is 490 yen and this is the only size you can get. I wish they had a cheaper variant without the whipped cream. It probably would have been like 30 or 60 or 90 cents cheaper as they usually are in the past. And so this definitely is spot on delicious. Very nice, very fresh. It's unbelievable just how fresh it tastes. So whatever they're doing to the melons over there in Hokkaido, they're doing a really great job because this 10 out of 10, very delicious, very refreshing. If you're in Japan and you have the option of tasting this, this is very good and I definitely recommend it. Again, I do wish they had a cheaper option without the whipped cream because I uh, 490 yen, a little bit steep. But if you got money to spend and you want to try something absolutely delicious, this is definitely your ticket. Mm. Delicious. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a like, subscribe, ring a ding and then that bell. Leave a comment down below. What sort of fruit would you like in a frap? And maybe one day we'll get it here in Japan because we get new things almost every week or two weeks. So make sure to check out my channel, see what we get next week or the week after. But until then, I appreciate you taking the time watching the video and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.